All right, so in this question, we're doing a sample uh, monopolistic competition question for Mary and Company, which is operating and producing a cleaning product called Bright Clean. Excuse me, the company currently produces the profit maximizing quantity, but is operating at a loss. Uh, draw a correctly labeled graph and show each of the following the profit maximizing output and price labeled as QM and PM respectively and the area of loss shaded completely. So let me start by drawing a relatively elastic uh, demand curve for Marion Company and then a marginal revenue curve for Mary and Company and then I like to draw in the marginal cost curve um, now just like every other market structure uh, the profit maximizing uh, level of output or quantity is where the mar marginal revenue and marginal cost are equal or where the MR and MC uh, curves intersect so we're going to call that QM and then the price they charge comes from the demand curve at QM and we call that price M alright now we want to show that they are operating at a loss and that would mean that the average total cost has to be greater than the price on the demand curve at QM so I gotta make average total cost I'll put like a little dot because I want it to be higher there and then I want its low point to be um, somewhere here and then I'm kind of making just little dots to give me a reference so now I'm gonna just say okay here's the ATC for Marion Company and the cost to Marion Company of producing uh, quantity QM is going to be read off of the average total cost curve now since that cost is greater than the price at QM the cost is higher than the price this area represents the area of economic losses for Marion Company and that completes part A uh, for B what must be true in the short run for the company to continue to produce at a loss the same thing that is true uh, for perfect competition uh, or anybody really to stay in operation if they are experiencing economic losses the price that they receive here while it's below the average total cost must be above the average variable cost so that's all we, we don't have to draw it in there we can just say that um, the price that Marion Company receive for the quantity QM has to be above their average variable cost uh, at, at producing quantity or output QM alright now it says that uh, in part C we should assume that the demand for cleaning products increases and the company is now earning short-run economic profits relative to this short run situation how does each of the following change in the long run okay so we're not looking at the graph because here they were experiencing losses if they were experiencing uh, profits what we know is that the number of firms will increase because monopolistic competition has low barriers to entry and exit just like perfect competition and when Marion Company is earning economic profits then new firms enter the market um, the company's profit is going to fall because as new firms enter the marketplace um, it means that uh, they're going to be uh, driven to a, a situation where 
the um, price is just equal to their average total cost at QM. So for C, the number of firms would increase if Marion Company were earning profits and as those firms entered it would cause the price for Marion Company to fall until it was equal to their average total cost. In the long run uh, monopolistic competition firms or monopolistically competitive firms I should say um, do not earn economic profits. In the long run they earn zero economic profit, a normal profit, or break even. All things mean really the same. All right, part D. In the long run, if the company continues to produce, will it produce the allocatively efficient level of output? Well, now we're back to looking at the graph. If they decide to continue to produce, they're going to produce at QM, where marginal revenue and marginal cost are equal the allocatively efficient level is the same as the socially optimal and that's where the marginal cost equals demand or the price marginal cost is equal to price or the MC curve intersects with the demand curve so they didn't ask us to draw this in but we could put that in as um, QA for allocatively efficient level so you can obviously see they're producing a quantity that is smaller than what is allocatively efficient. Um, so there is um, this gap between what they provide and what um, society would like to see provided. And then the last question is E. In the long run, will the company be operating in a region where economies of scale exist? Well, if you look, um, they're going to operate where M, R, and MC are equal and their average total cost is here and since on this portion of the average total cost curve um, increasing output would cause the average total cost to decrease um, they are operating in a region where economies of scale exist their average total cost, in, in terms of explaining it, you would just say that by increasing output, average total costs would decrease. And that means they would experience economies of scale by expanding that output.